Welcome basketball fans to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll watch Detroit in this one as they go up against the Celtics. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. And we've got David Aldridge joining us from the sidelines. So off the tip, it's Boston. Here's Henderson. There's the pass to Maxwell. Johnson up top. Shoots over Johnson. They grab their own miss. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. And a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Great job by Parrish. Getting aggressive against the contact. He earns the N1 call. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Throw good, Parrish. Every team wants a Robert Parrish, an intimidating figure inside. He controls the painted area. Johnson outside. Pass to Hollins. Back to Johnson. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Five on the clock. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. That is how you use the shot fake, folks. Johnson against Johnson. Henderson kicks to Johnson. Shot left block. Rebound by the Pistons. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. You know, right from the jump, you could tell they weren't themselves. Just couldn't seem to come together, pull it together. And sometimes you're just off for whatever the reason is. That's the kind of game you do your best to forget about. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Johnson dishes to Hollins. Celtics foul. Dennis Johnson. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Hollins. Johnson up top, covered by Johnson. Drilled from 11 feet out. Loses him with the bounce and doesn't look back. What a pretty move. The Celtics have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Has to perish. On the wing, Burke. Here's Trapuca. We saw him at 29 points last game. Unloads from nine. Here's Levingston. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And That's he'll good. have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Excellent positioning from Levingston. Inflicting major damage on the offensive boards. Detroit shooting their first free throw tonight. One shot. One shot. Experience forward, Levingston gives them depth off the bench along the front line. Here's the Celtics with the ball. Four-point game. They let loose a barrage from deep. They could not miss. Good movement to keep getting solid looks, and they were able to convert time after time. It's good. Well, that's an easy, effortless make right at the rim. Yeah, you know this. You, you, you usually get only looks like this in the layup line. 
The defense has to make it harder on him right there. For Detroit, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Johnson surveying the floor. That's tipped. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. The putback, it's good on the putback. The long arms of Parrish, using that incredible length to do damage on the offensive glass. Passes to Livingston. On the wing, Johnson. Johnson with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. The vast appearance. Over Lambeer. And it's Parrish missing. And here are the Pistons. Their last encounter was in Detroit. Here's Trapuca. He's guarded by Maxwell. Trapuca passes to Johnson. And Beer's shot is off. Boston shooting 43% since taking the floor today. Into the lane. So good at using his height to scan the floor. Parrish capable of finding open teammates this way. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, pass to Hollins. Feeds to Lambeer. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. Robert Parrish picks one up there. You know, the way his shot went so wide, pretty obvious he got fouled. Oh yeah, plenty of contact there. First trip to the line for him here. Shooting two. And that one falls for Lambeer. You have to respect the attitude Lambeer brings to his game. He's not afraid to get physical and battle for the advantage, and it can really wear an opponent down. And so Lambeer nails both of them. He can do so much damage from the line. The defense has to be more careful around him. Anderson with it. Off the back rim, no good. The Pistons have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. Here's Trapuca. He's guarded by Maxwell. To the paint, intercepted. Here's Trapuca. A shot off that time. Now Boston takes it the other way. Now Henderson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Fires high post, and he gets the jumper to drop. You know, when he's not beating you from the three or attacking the basket, Bird, very reliable from the mid-range. Pass to Livingston. On the wing, Johnson. He's guarded by Johnson. Six to shoot. Johnson, the pass to Livingston. Let's the three fly. Detroit, no good that time either. Boy, they got lucky on that one. Yeah, he's an incredible three-point shooter. So you are ecstatic any time it doesn't go in. Here's Trapuca. Passes it to Livingston. Dishes it to Johnson. Beyond the arc, Parrish grabs the ball. Parrish has got his full rebound with that last one here tonight. And here's Henderson. There's the dish to Parrish. Here's Maxwell. Bill Lambeer with the rebound. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. That one goes in. Well, I love watching him carve his way inside and capitalize. 
And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Edmund comes in for Maxwell. the pass to Trapuca. A miss that time would have put him up. And so it's McHale with it. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Johnson outside. Pass to Bird. The fadeaway. And yes, it's good. Bird's got his second bucket. So many different tricks up his sleeve. Makes him a tough matchup. Pass to Trebuka. Owens up top. Henderson defending. Pulls it from the elbow. Can't hit that one. Celtics have gone 6 and 12 from the field here in the first quarter. And the turnover again by Boston. Detroit's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Now, here's Owens. He's guarded closely. Passes it to Long. Over Johnson. And, yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Long's got the game tied up here for Detroit. On offense, here are the Celtics. Now here's Henderson, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's McHale, the rebound by Curitan. For Detroit, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Long kicks to Hollins. The pass to Benson. Here's Curitan, just 5 on the clock. Pass to Benson. Here's Tolbert, and he drops that one in. Anderson with it. On the wing, Johnson. Pass to Wedman. Trying to find Bird. He's got it now. That's miss number three for him. Now two for five from the floor. Here's Hollins. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Slick crossover move. The defense had no way of keeping up. So the Celtics called timeout. They're first. I think this is more like a tourniquet as opposed to just being a simple timeout. Yeah, they're just bleeding points here, and Coach has seen enough.
Boston making some changes. Hart comes in for Burke. And Danny Ainge is subbed in for Gerald Henderson. Boston trails by four. The feed to McHale. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah, you know, the way McHale is built, long arms, he's kind of got coat hanger shoulders, chest sticking out. I mean, it's very hard, difficult, almost impossible for any defender to bother his shot. Here's Hollins after Kevin McHale's score. Hollins passes to Benson. Down low. Here's Curitan. Second shot opportunity. That one falls. And the Pistons lead by four. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. Now in. Out left to the wing. Or the three. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. Well, that was a nice individual defensive effort there. Did a great job to contest the deep ball. Walk. Side out. First personal foul. Fifteen foul. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Detroit. The first free throw is good. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Here's Benson. And at last, they get one to fall. Now it's a seven-point Detroit lead. Now here is Ainge. He's covered by Hollins. We've got 155 left in the first quarter of the game. And it's Detroit's ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Tolbert. Rebound, Boston. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Pistons lead by seven. To the inside. And he dunks it down. That's one way to build this lead. Yep, showtime, Clark, and a real important hoop. You want to extend that lead. 122 left here in the opening quarter. Ames the pass to Johnson. Here's Wetman. Pass to McHale. Can't get it to fall. Seemed as if he had the angle to finish, but the defense did just enough to throw him off. Tobert the pass to Long. And here's Hollins. Benson, car covering, basket counts. Benson's got his second basket of the night. They could not have asked for a better start. This is looking like a no contest already. And here is Ainge. No points in the game yet for him. And there's the pass to McHale. Missed inside. Detroit with the ball. They're on a 19 to 6 run. They get it back. The Pistons have shot 80% from the lines tonight, going 4 of 5 so far. At the line for two. Shoot two. One falls for Tolbert. The Celtics making a switch here. Henderson's checked in. And so Tolbert nails both of them. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Henderson. Right wing. Here's Redmond. Again, the miss by the Celtics. 
And so is Detroit, looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, looking at what you've seen so far for the Pistons, what do you think? Controlling the boards is a major advantage. They're making the most of it here early. Being much more physical on the glass. Looking around the NBA, Mike, is there a division that you think right now is the strongest? The Atlantic, no doubt. It includes the Sixers, last season's champs. Boston, they might be better than Philly and a few other playoff caliber squads as well. It's about as deep as we've seen, don't you think? It is. It's a tremendous depth in that conference. Here's Long. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. From D, Johnson. And that's collected by Bird. And so Bird will bring it up for Boston. It's game one of a three-game road trip. And the foul called on Larry Bird. That is his first foul of the game. Sacrificing his body, putting it on the line right there. That takes tremendous grit. Taking charges, not for the faint of heart. Levingson's checked in for Benson. Pistons leading by 13. Johnson, the pass to Trapuca. Now, here is Lambeer, defended by Parrish. Johnson against Henderson. Just five to shoot. Johnson inside. Can't cash in from close range. The Celtics shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. Feeds it to Bird. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. And you know in the painted area, Bird has a variety of moves. Can take you either direction and finish with either hand. He's a nightmare to defend, and believe me, I woke up in sweats many a times dealing with that guy. Now, here's Johnson. Pass to Long. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Long's got the lead up to 13 now for the Pistons. Now, here's Henderson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Three-pointer, Bird. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. At the arc, Bird can be just devastating, especially when he gets into a nice rhythm. So the wing on the left. Fires for three. And Trapuka gets it to go. Trapuka's got his first three points of the game. A little back and forth. Tay to Tay on the perimeter. Both teams showing off their range. Just another reminder of how excellent the shooting has become in this league. Now, here's Bird. He had an 18-point outing in the last game again. Sometimes you do things right on offense, and the shots just don't fall. And it's Johnson penetrating. All sorts of time. Again, the Pistons score. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. Here's Henderson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. And the first one drops. So he makes both from the line. Pistons leading by 13. Johnson with it. His last outing, he had 24 points. Chalk up two there. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Parrish dishes to Henderson. Pass to Ainge. He's looking for McHale and finds him. 
Happy to see that one go in for a second make in five attempts. As we like to say, a guy like McHale is a problem. He's such an excellent scorer in the low post. Johnson, the pass to Long. Back to Johnson. Here's Long. Last game he had 12. The Pistons working the ball around now. Shot clock at five. That's in. Coming off the assist from Johnson. Long's got six in the quarter. Boston trails by 15. Passes to Bird. Fades back. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Detroit's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Johnson against Henderson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Johnson's got eight points. Terrific focus to get to the basket there. Surprised they left them that much of a lane to work with. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, he's checked in for McHale. And it's Johnson in for Danny Ainge. Boston trails by 17. Henderson kicks to Bird. made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Bird is really good inside because he uses both hands and that 6-9 frame to get the shot to fall despite solid defensive pressure. Now, here's Johnson. He's got eight. Now the pass to Long. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Long's got eight here in the quarter. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Pass to Bird. Fade away. He scores a six bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. We see this often from Bird. He makes scoring look effortless. Johnson outside. long. Ten points for him. Shot clock at six. Fires from 18. Again, the Pistons score. Now Henderson. Pass to Maxwell. Now, here is Bird. And too long on the shot. Pistons leading by 17. Here's Trapuka. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got six assists here tonight. He's got this offense absolutely humming. And I love the patience and timing he's added to his game. Very obvious he's worked on that. And this is what a coach loves to see. Looking to create for others and making the killer pass. And the Celtics with possession here after the basket by Detroit. Here's Trapuka, defended by Parrish. Here's Trapuka. He has five. Passes it to Long. And taken away by Johnson. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Here's Bird. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Bird's got 11 points in the quarter. The floor general leadership of Johnson, outstanding at realizing when a teammate is open. Detroit's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Long. He's got 10. Here's Johnson. And it's Bird with the rebound. Boston trails by 17. Johnson attacking. Count that one. 
Johnson's got his second bucket of the game to go. So athletic. DJ can get to the rack seemingly at will. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Just check in for Gerald Henderson. And a different look here for the Pistons. Detroit leading by 15. And here's Hollins. The pass to Benson. Here's Tolbert. Now here's Hollins. Here's Benson. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Not the biggest guy by any means. But that lift more than makes up for it. Celtics have gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. On the wing, Ainge. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Tolbert. They get it again. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Full 24 second shot clock. Here's Long. He's got 10. At the top of the key, Hollins. Pass to Long. Another shot. Well, you know, this is DJ's calling card. Has the strength and athleticism to guard multiple positions. Tolbert against Bird. They get a hand on it. Here's Ainge. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Hollins with it. Really buckling down on D there. Well, that's the only way to play full court man-to-man. 100% intensity. Passes it to Benson. Kicks it to Hollins. For the past two seasons, Coach, it's been the Lakers and the 76ers in the finals. Will we, do you think, see the rubber match this season? Well, the Sixers were the most dominant playoff team we've ever seen. 12-1 on their way to the title. But the East is loaded. I think the Lakers will be back to the finals before Philly. I know. Veterans, too, on both teams, Mike. It's going to be fun to watch them as they work with younger players on both rosters. Shot clock at three. Holland from outside off the mark. Well, that's a quality look for him. Probably surprised himself with that miss. Yeah, the defense can't continue to give him that shot and expect the same results. Trying to grab hold of that momentum right here. Well, that play, that play right there, that'll fire up your teammates. Hey, they're still competing. Now, here's Hollins. Guarded close. Goes up on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Boston trails by 13. Maxwell, the pass to Bird. Oh, and the jam by Bird. Bird throwing it down. He doesn't do that a lot. But he showed you right there. He can do it when he needs to. Here's Hollins. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Looking to stop the bleeding and put an end to this run. Yeah, coach wants to settle them down and get them organized.
So Boston going with almost an entire new group. Carr, he's checked in for Paris. Mikhail comes in for Burke. Edmonds checked in for Johnson. And Buckner subbed in for Maxwell. Here's Hollins. Pass to Curitan. He kicks to Hollins. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Ainge. Shot by Tolbert, no good. Always rough to miss a layup like that. The defense bothered him for sure. Redmond the pass to Ainge. Here's Carr. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Detroit leading by 11. There's the pass to Tolbert. 130 left in the first half of the game. Here's Benson, and he drops it in from the low post. Benson's got eight. Boston's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Buckner the pass to Ainge. McHale inside. He had an 18-point outing in the last game again. And his three blocks made a huge impact on the game. It really turned the game in their favor. Now, here's Hollins following the shot by Kevin McHale. And that one's good. Curitan. Nice pass creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. Boston trails by 15. They're going to break this scoring drop, Mike. Well, they've had a lid over the basket for a while now. Indeed. Here's Ainge. That's good from 17 feet away. Ainge has got four points this quarter. What confidence off the catch. I like whenever Ainge goes right up with it. 43 seconds left here in the second. Now, Hollins. Pass to Long. Fades. That shot off the mark. And it's Boston the other way. 20 seconds left to play here in the half. Ains the pass to Carr. Outside, McHale. And here we go. The Pistons fast break. And the shot goes in. He has six. Terrific work in transition. Sprinting out ahead of the defense and getting to the right spot. And it's clear the game plan is to attack in transition as much as possible. Which is exactly what they've been doing. And so is Detroit. Finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside. Get shots in the paint. And now they are scoring with ease. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. wasn't too much drama in the first half but maybe things will tighten up here in the second it's been one outstanding game from Larry Bird I thought he played some bully ball in that first half punishing them in the low post and we'll see if the defense adjusts they may have to double him which would really open up things for the rest of this team And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Detroit leading by 15. Here's Hollins. Shoots from the high post. Here's Lambeer. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Can never question how hard Bill Lambeer works. His teammates appreciate how much he gets after it on the glass. Here's Bird. Hands it from short range. Bird's got 21. Contributing heavily, doing his part on the offensive end. He's got a great basketball IQ. He knows what will get his team back in it. Now, here's Owens. This is a two for Puka. Over Bird. And chance shot. And Johnson with the lay-in good. Johnson's got 12 points in the game. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. Always hard to see a guy go down. I mean, you just hope it's not as bad as it appears it could be. 
at least we know he's going to get expert care. So hopefully they can mitigate the damage. Edmonds checked in for the Celtics. Austin with the ball. Trailing by 17. Johnson surveying the floor. Bird outside. Rebound by the Pistons. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Here's Trapuca. Five points in the game. The putback. Johnson with the rebound. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Boston. Bird high post. They double team Bird. Lambeer with a steal. Hollins passes to Livingston. Henderson pulls it in. Boston trails by 17. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Shoots a fader. A shot's good from Paris. Seven points in the game. Stepping away from the basket. Paris showing you he's got a little range, too. Detroit leading by 15. And here's Hollins. He's got six. That's good from Johnson on the assist from Cliff Livingston. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Parrish up top. Anderson with it. He's against Hollins. It's good. The Pistons have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Astelene Beer. Johnson outside. Six on the shot clock. And Beer is screened. And the shot is good from Johnson. Johnson's got six points in the quarter. Well, it's really hard to come back if you can't get stops. You've got to figure out a way to stop the bleeding if you're going to come back. And he looked very comfortable on that one. Not a lot of resistance. Now here's Henderson. It's Bird, top of the key. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Bird's got 23 points. As competitive as they come, Bird loves beating tight defense. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Johnson. And Detroit again with the bucket. When it comes to scoring the ball, he is prolific and proficient. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Johnson outside. Up top, Bird. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists in the game. Pistons leading by 15. The pass to Tripuka. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Pass to Hollins. To the middle. Just five to shoot. Livingston, the pass to Trapuca. And that one, good. Trapuca's got his third bucket of the night. This is how you share the ball. Livingston, great pass to the open man. The Celtics have gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Now here's Henderson. Three-pointer, Bird. They get the rebound. Johnson. Good work defensively by Johnson. 
For Detroit, they've gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Nice, strong finish on that jam. Yeah, he went with two hands for safety. I get it. He made sure no one was stopping that rack attack. Boston trails by 19. Anderson with it. Can't finish the one-handed jam. Hollins kicks to Johnson. Passes it to Trapuca. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. And, you know, their lead just continues to grow, and it's not just because of their offense. They're getting it done at both ends. Yeah, their defense has been stellar as well. Great work on both ends. And another great look at the 2K drive. That's a little bit of icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show where they enjoy a big second-half lead. And it's good off the back rim and in. Bird's got 27. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Now here's Johnson. 18 points for him. Detroit needs to get off a shot. And that one is good. Trapuca's got eight points here in this quarter. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Hmm, they're having a really hard time out there. Mm, you're right. Three-pointer, Bird. Bill Lambeer with the rebound. Lambeer's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And Trapuca gets it to go. Now a timeout called by Boston. And I bet right now, Coach wants to go over the turnover problem. Seems like they've been trying to force things a bit. Just need to get back into a steady rhythm. Establish the pace of the offense so they can string together a good run. Solid possessions without trying to do too much. Kevin McHale checked in for Boston. Ainge comes in for Gerald Henderson. Boston's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Bird outside. Rebound, Detroit. Trapuca's got four rebounds now tonight. Shot on the wing. And Detroit again with the bucket. Their offensive efficiency has been even better here in the second. Yeah, just continuing to dial it in on that end and focusing on making good shot selections. Now, here is Ainge. Pass to Johnson. Bird high post. Tries it from the top of the key. And Lambert pulls it down. Lambert's got his eighth rebound here tonight. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Pistons ball. And, well, Detroit shooting indicative of smooth offensive play up at 60%. They're a machine from the floor. And they pick up two. Lambeer's got four points now in the quarter. I love how they've embraced their status as home wreckers here. Looking very confident on the road. They've come into this arena and made it their home. That's how strong and assertive they've been so far. Vinny Johnson. First personal foul. First team and a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Detroit. And the first one at the line is good. Well, you got to love the raw tenacity Danny Ains brings to this game. I mean, this guy works so hard to make an impact and just refuses to let other players push him around. He's a great competitor. Both shots good from the strike. So it's the Pistons now. Johnson outside. The pass to Benson. 
That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. Johnson's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. For Boston, they've gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. On the wing, Bird. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Bird's got 29 in the game. This is how automatic Bird is. All he needs is the ball, and instantly that shot is gone. Pass to Trebuka. Here's Lambeer. Yep, that one goes in there. Poorly executed screen, however, they prevail. Credit the shooter for overcoming the aggressive defense. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. One shot. And that one falls for Lambeer. For Boston, they've gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Here's Ainge. McCain, great positioning on the putback. A determined rebounder. McHale just outworks the opposition to come away with the second chance points. And well, Detroit shooting extremely well. 62% on the night to this point. Pass to Trebuka. Johnson outside. Inside. Here's Benson. The shot misses. McHale with some nice D. Johnson against Ainge. McHale on the wing. Let's it go from 11. He can't get it to go. And Detroit the other way now. Long pass to Trebuka. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. On the wing, Ainge is guarded by Johnson. Pass to Bird. Here's Long. He's got 10. Doesn't go that time. McHale, right side. Count that one. McHale's got four points this quarter. Physical contact, no problem. McHale says bring it on. He'll just power through it. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Detroit. And the pass to Long. Here's Trapuca, defended by Bird. Johnson. Detroit, no good that time either. Really tough to see a quality look like that go to waste. Just couldn't quite finish the job. Just a tough break, especially because opportunities that good don't often come along. Here's Long, defended by Bird. The shot by Long, no good. Trying to find a way out of this run, Mike. Yeah, looking to regain some momentum offensively. Ains the pass to Pierce. Rebound by the Pistons. Benson's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Johnson inside. Ainge covering. Back to Johnson. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Here's Long. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Long's got 12 in the game. And if you give him space like that in the mid-range, he won't hesitate to let it fly. Pass to Johnson. He's looking for McHale and finds him. Here's Long, covered by Johnson. Count it. He's got 12. Took the smaller defender to task inside. Great recognition of the mismatch. Now Ainge. He's got six. A wide open look for Bird. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Bird's got 12 points in just the second half. This is shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots and they're hitting them. Johnson, the pass to Long. Here's Trapuca. Johnson outside. Again, the Pistons good for two. Excellent distribution. That possession highlighting how important unselfishness is. 23 seconds left here in the third quarter. 
And here is Ainge. Down low. With one on the clock. That one, no good. And so is Detroit in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Back right after this. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Okay, time now for an injury report. Hi, guys. Well, the head athletic trainer for Boston provided some information for us. He's getting looked at now for what the team is saying is a collapsed lung. Obviously something that is very serious and something they don't take lightly. While the season isn't very old, this is still distressing to hear, and somebody is going to have to pick up the slack while he's out. Devin, back to you. David, thanks for the new info on his status. And Clark, I know we've all been wishing him a very speedy recovery. Most definitely. Injuries are still such an unfortunate reality of the game. And we know they're going to happen, but they're never pleasant when they do. Mm, what a shame. Yeah. Well, on the floor and in recovery, it's all about taking care of yourself. I'm sure he's been doing just that. Shooting two. That's good from Carr. Last season, the NBA, Mike adding the sixth man of the year and defensive player of the year awards. What were your thoughts on that? A great decision by the league to create those awards. Giving some love to guys who might not usually get recognition. I, I know you feel the same way. The game has so many levels and so many facets to it, and everybody's got their hand on the success, including the defensive player on that team or, or this guy that comes off the bench and is the, the crucial sixth man. A guy might be great in one particular area. Why not be recognized for it? Because it's a major contribution to that person's team winning by him doing what he does well. Well, that's a great thought. Pistons leading by 22. They set the pick. Russell with it. And it's McHale picking him up. Saw the lane open up, and he led his man perfectly with the pass. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Passes to McHale. And it's Kevin McHale with the finish. Incredible at getting positioning down low. Once McHale has the ball down there, you are at his mercy. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Detroit. Hollins passes to Tolbert. Out to Russell. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. To the middle, here's Tolbert. They shoot again. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Danny Ainge. Shooting for Detroit. Tolbert. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. 
Here's Ainge. Pass to McHale. He scores a six bucket from the four with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Detroit leading by 21. Here's Trapuca. The pass to Livingston. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. That was an easy call on that shot. Refs will call that one 10 out of 10 times. Taking two shots. Free throw is good. Austin making some changes. Parrish comes in for Wedman. And it's Henderson for Ainge. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Long's checked in. No good on the second free throw. Boston, they've gone a perfect four of four to start the final quarter. Cash for anything more than that. John Long. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Boston. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He makes the first. That one falls, so he hits both of them. It feels like there's more and more talk, Coach, of a makeover to the draft system every year. Do you think that'll happen? It's probably only a matter of time. There's something imperfect about flipping a coin for the number one pick. There's buzz going on about some sort of a lottery system. And what do you think about that? Would you, would you be in favor of a lottery system? Don't you think someone will find a way to circumvent whatever they set up? <laughs> Everybody's always trying to beat the system. Absolutely. <laughs> now, here's Owens after Henderson's miss. Trapuca passes to Curitan. Here's Trapuca. Car covering. Clock at six. Here's Hollins with nobody on him. He buries the jumpers. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Pass to McHale. Austin again missing. Detroit leading by 22. Now here's Hollins. Passes it to Trapuca. Here's Long, not loose. Pass to Carr. The 15 footer. Boston again missing. The Pistons have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. And Detroit with another turnover here. And that pass just got away from him. Well off his target. Now a timeout called by Boston.
It's now time to take a look at our player of the game. Well, you know, it's easy to understand why he's the choice given how well he shot the ball. I mean, just shooting an insane percentage really is what led him to this award. And it's because he was also actively looking to score. He was hunting his shots and was knocking them down. Without his heroics here tonight, this could have been a second straight loss for them. But he was sensational. And instead of a losing streak, he may have them headed in the opposite direction now. Henderson passes to Johnson. Kicks it to Bird. Five on the clock. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Bird's got 33 points. And that's devastating for the defense. Can't let Bird beat the clock and hurt you like this. Here's Trapuca. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Superb second effort. Yeah, stayed right with it. He's always working on the offensive glass. Henderson passes to Johnson. Bird high post. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. Bird's got 16 points here in the second half. Bird can get you points in just about any situation. Scores at all three levels, and he's determined as a scorer. Detroit leading by 20. Howland's with it. Out to the right wing. And Trapuca gets it to go. Hey, this is a rinse and repeat, just like last game. He's had his fingerprints all over this one, looking totally dominant. He realizes his strengths on offense and does a fantastic job playing to them and finding ways to stay hot. Here's Bird, following the bucket by the Pistons. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. So difficult to guard without overcommitting. Bird recognizes how to get the whistle. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. Speaking with Bird's opponents, they'll tell you he talks trash the whole time. And of course, he backs it up with his play. Detroit making a switch here. Lambeer's checked in. Bird hits them both. Here's Long. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Not sure who he was looking for there. I know the third row definitely wasn't expecting a pass. Johnson, he's checked in for the Pistons. Boston trails by 20. Now Henderson. On the wing, Bird puts up a three, hands it from downtown. Bird's got 40 points. Can't leave him open from deep. Need to at least get a hand up. To the inside, Lambeer, and then Lambeer with the dunk. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Like seeing Lambeer jam at home, refusing to just settle for the layup. And here's Henderson. McHale outside. He feeds it to Bird. And Beer with the steal. Johnson against Johnson. Johnson the pass to Trapuca. Here's Levingston. He's guarded by McHale. This is Dulain Beer. Good work there as it goes. Lambeer's got 11 points here in just the second half. You better hammer Lambeer if you want to stop him. Henderson passes to Johnson. It's Bird, top of the key. Offensive rebound. Unable to get that one. Pistons leading by 21. Here's Trapuca. Goes back up. And another shot. Tries from 10. Buries the jump shot. Don't sleep on the jumper of Lambeer. It's solid. He's put in a ton of work on it.
Here's Henderson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Henderson. Both free throws good from Henderson. Now, here's Owens. the pass to Johnson. Now, here's Hollins. Henderson defending. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Robert Parrish picks one up there. Clearly, he got it. No doubt. Good job by the officials. Yes. We are giving credit to the officials. And the first one drops. Both free throws, good from Hollins. For Boston, they've gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. Bird right side. Back to Henderson. But Trey. Here's Parrish. And the layup's good off the glass. No easy way to contain Parrish inside. At 7 feet tall, he often has the advantage. Pistons leading by 21. Hollins passes to Johnson. Here's Lambeer. Rebounded by the Celtics. Bird looking it over. Oh, and the jam by Bird. No defense able to stop that attack right at him. Oh, well, he saw his chance. He went right into it and did not blink. Yeah, I think their hands were tied. No one wanted to get in his path. Detroit with the ball after the basket by Boston. Hey, right Hollins up top. Henderson three. defending. Oh, and there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Boston trails by 19. Pass to McHale. Pass to Bird. They double team Bird. Here's Henderson. Hits it from three point range. Henderson's got five points in the quarter. You know, passing is one of Bird's many attributes. He's got a great eye for finding open teammates that are ready to shoot it. The Pistons shooting about 47% here in the fourth. Pass to Trapuca. Johnson in the corner. Pistons passing it around. And there's the pass to Trapuca. Six on the shot clock. Now the feed to Lambeer. Shoots over Parrish. And the rejection by Parrish. The wingspan of Parrish. Helping him get a hand on shots when others would have been out of luck. Austin's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Henderson kicks to Johnson. He dishes it to Bird. Detroit with the rebound. Levingson's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Trapuca. Now Johnson. He's guarded by Johnson. Passes it to Trapuca. Now Hollins. To the paint. Trying to end the drought. And that's collected by Bird. Bird's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Johnson. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. You know, Johnson is such a crafty and unpredictable player. Understands how to draw foul. Two shots.
and that one falls for Johnson. Boston making a switch here. Wedman's checked in. And both free throws good for Johnson. Hey, the respect Johnson's teammates have for him is obvious. They trust his decision making and follow his lead. Here's Trapuca. He's guarded by McHale. Here's Livingston. Redman pulls it in. He had space to operate inside, but just couldn't get it to fall. Anderson with it. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Shooting for Boston. Gerald Henderson. At the line for two. And he can't get the first one. And the second free throw, good. You can tell he's disappointed in himself for missing a shot. But anything to chip away at this lead is progress. Detroit leading by 13. A pretty comfortable win for them in this one. Great effort. Pays off for the Pistons. And Clark at the offensive end. They owned the lane. Exactly, Kevin. Even when help came over, it just wasn't enough to slow them down. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And a lot of players tonight help contribute to this performance. But in particular, a real good game it was for Johnson. Fantastic job playmaking by him tonight. Setting up others. A team-first approach. I don't think there was any question about that being a foul. Yeah, no debate here. We could clearly see the contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. And here are the Pistons now. They lead by 11. Johnson against Johnson to stop the drought. Offensive rebound. Curitan the pass to Benson. Kicks to Hollins. Pass to Livingston. Here's Hollins. And so Detroit takes this one by a big margin. And Clark, a quality win for them in a hostile environment, found a way to eke out a win on the road. No home cooking, but they're still eating. I love it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. I'm Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in tonight. See you next time.